Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Today I just wanted to make a brief video and share with you that art supplies that I got from AliExpress. And to be honest, for some of them it took a very, very long time to get to me. Well, some of them were quick, so I got them, I don't know, within maybe three weeks, maybe a month, but some of them, it took them like three months <laughs> to get them, even though these were not a very big things. So if you are planning to order anything from Aliexpress, then keep that in mind and uh, be patient. But uh, that's the way it is right now. So anyway, I just uh, really wanted to, to share with you the interesting bits and pieces that I got and I hope that uh, you would like this video as well. And so let's get to it. And the first thing I got, I actually already unpacked it as soon as I got it because as you can see the other packages, they're still sealed. I didn't open them because I really wanted to share that experience together with you. But this one I just couldn't wait and this is a travel brush. And it is so very nice. It is a squirrel and I think it might be a dupe for one of those silver velvet brushes. But it is very very nice brush very high quality brush and I'm very happy that I guessed for the size. This is size 8 and I already took it with me for several trips and usually I take a water brush with me but sometimes it's just not enough. Sometimes I actually do have the opportunity to make a bigger painting and that's always a hassle for me to take my other brushes because I don't have a pencil case or anything like that so I'm always wondering if I'm gonna damage the brush and what's gonna be. So this is just a perfect solution and that's a perfect size because it would be very very rare if I'm not at home and then I want to paint like, I don't know, A3 size painting, right? So usually it would be not bigger than A4 and that's that's just perfect because then I also usually have a spray bottle to water the paper and then this brush is good enough for some bigger pieces and also for small details because it holds the tip very nicely and I'm very very satisfied with this brush. So and what I really like about it is that there's actually, I don't know if you can see, let me try, you see there's a small hole, yeah, can you see it, right there, so that when you put your wet brush back into the case it has the hole like where the air can get through and the brush can actually dry and I think this is great and it's very stable and I've been very very happy with it so far and this is my go-to brush to take with me. So I'm trying to be careful not to damage whatever my be inside. Oh. oh this is cute. Oh look at that. Yes I remember that. That is um so hold on, let me just drop it on the floor. I don't need to look at it. This one should help with the pencils that I get in short. I just have my pencil case here, so just let me find one of those pencils. So yeah, here it is. It's it's getting short. It's not there yet, but if I and it's one of my favorite pencils and when I want to make a big sketch it's actually not that comfortable anymore because I hold it right by the tip. So let me see how it works because I actually don't know. Okay. I put it somewhere there and then I'm supposed to Okay, that's the way it comes off. So how am I supposed to? Yes, so I was scrolling it clockwise, like this. Huh. Oh, this is very nice. Oh, and it feels very nice. It's a bit heavy. But for example, I have Faber-Castell pencil that's also quite heavy. And this, oh, that's very nice. Oh, I'm so happy about it. That is quite amazing. Let me give, grab some sketchbook. Oh yeah, super nice, very comfortable. Oh, I'm loving it. Oh, this is wonderful. I'm very happy because I really, really needed it. Oh, aren't they beautiful? Aren't they beautiful? Oh, look 
look at this. This is so cute. I mean, don't you think so? This is so cute. Such a tiny, tiny zipper pouch for the for the inks. That's great. So basically, as you understood, these are two fountain pens that I ordered. And yeah, they were very cheap because I was looking at the ones uh, that um, Jane Davenport sells, but they're kind of pricey and I don't know yet if I'm going to like them or not. I just wanted something to play around with because I actually really like making sketches with the inks. And I thought it would be great to try and doing it with a fountain pen as well. And I know that many people like writing with fountain pens. And I ordered two of them because the way I understood as soon as the cartridge goes in, you cannot replace it till you're done with it. So the idea behind it was to have a black one in one of them and a colored one in the other pen. And then I could interchange. So, but let me see then. Let me try them first. So, how do I do that? And this is a very good question. It doesn't want to get unscrewed. So, I wasn't able to unscrew it <laughs> and I even asked for some help and that didn't work. So, I don't know, I, I'll try and put it under warm water, you know, there's some glue or something stuck and see if I can find it. But, I was able to open this one. Hooray! <laughs> so, uh, it, it does work, hopefully, but uh, that's a pity, I'll need to figure out what to do. And I really hope I'll be able to make it work because I really need those, I really want at least those two. So the question is if I have only one function pen so far, if I still should go with the black or try a colored one. Hmm? I think I'll still go with the black so far. At least for now and then we'll see. So. Aha, uh -huh. okay, now I pushed it and now I could feel that that click. So I hope that maybe now the ink will start flowing. I can hear a small ball within the cartridge moving the ink. Okay, something is happening because I can see the ink. Okay, yes working oh it's a very nice feeling I know I don't know what I'm doing I just want to check well so far it disappears sometimes As you can see here, but uh, it's not much, it feels quite smooth. And I feel like I need to keep the pen very straight. No, so as soon as I tilt it a little bit like this, oh no, actually it's even better that way. But again, I know nothing about painting or drawing with the fountain pens. Maybe now it actually just started flowing. Oh, that feels beautiful and so smooth. Oh, this is wonderful. To be honest, to me, it feels much better than a fine liner. Because I like the look of the fine liner, but not necessarily the feel. And sometimes, when it feels buttery smooth, the line is quite thick. While here, oh, it's so smooth and so thin. Oh, this is great. This is great. I really, really like it. But of course, the question is still open whether these inks are waterproof 
because there was no such information on the website and for me it would be great if they are because then that means I can make a sketch with the fountain pen and then to use watercolors later on. So I'll give them right now a couple of minutes to dry and make a test with watercolors. And actually no, well, this is drying, maybe let's move to... Let's open another package and then we'll come back to it. That's so pretty. And here you can see the ink. So it wouldn't be a problem to distinguish what color is in there because here you can see that there's nothing and here's look. Oh, I'm loving it. I'm loving it so far. So I did order <laughs> because I was actually wondering if I cancel my order or not. And I ordered some stencils because I have a couple of quite interesting projects in mind that I would like to try out and I really want to experiment with uh, mixed media more and with mixed media on the canvas and I do have some ideas and actually not only mixed media so stay tuned for my future videos because I'm definitely gonna show how I'm using them in my paintings they're so cute I really like them so this one is a brass ruler and why I ordered? Because I do have... Sometimes you need a straight, very straight line in your painting. Or at least I do. So, and right now I have this ruler, which I carry in my pencil case. But that's just thin plastic. So every time I'm terrified that it will break. So I wanted something a little bit sturdy. And this is just perfect. Oh yes, that feels very nice. It's quite heavy and also very pretty. And here are centimeters and inches. Though I don't think I will use it to measure anything, mostly just to have a straight line and be able to carry it with me without being afraid that it will break easily. Because it doesn't seem so. It feels very sturdy. It's very nice. I really like it. And another package is I actually forgot how it's called. It's not a tracing paper. A transfer paper? Is it called a transfer paper? Because some of the sketches, they started getting a bit complicated and I don't want to make the initial sketch right on the watercolor paper. Especially with the cotton paper, I did this mistake once that I rubbed on the watercolor paper and first I couldn't see any difference, so I thought it was going to go great. And then when I started applying color to the paper, I could see all those traces from the eraser. So, not again. <laughs> so now whenever I want to make a little bit more detailed, more complicated, I will make it on the usual piece of paper first. And then I'll use this to transfer to the watercolor paper. So. And shall we now maybe make the test? Well, it doesn't smudge. That's a good thing. And I have my beloved core travel palette. Yes, it's well loved. Very well loved, as you can see. So. And I have a jar with water on the side from my table. Uh, unfortunately, that's not going to work. I can see that the inks are not waterproof at all. Not even a little bit. I must say that's quite of a bummer. I really hope that they would be, but um, you see, it just turns into purple mud. I don't know, let me try again here. Yeah ink washes away you see this is what ultramarine blue turned into just gray mm -hmm. 
Well, that is a bummer. That's definitely a bummer. I don't know. If maybe I should have given it more time, but uh, that's a bit upsetting. Well, on the positive side, the pen is good. Or at least one of the pens is good. So later on, I will see if I can find a specific cartridges with ink <clears throat> that are waterproof for this pen and use them instead because that would be great to make sketch with an ink pen, fountain pen, and then to use watercolor on top of it because, ah, oh well. But then this will stay for my usual sketches, maybe notes in my journals when I would draw or you know write something on top of the watercolor but I knew that there was such possibility because there was no information that was waterproof whatsoever but I wasn't able to find those that are so if you do know that you can get such cartridges that contain waterproof ink because I do have a feeling that this photo fountain pens they're quite standard because I saw them in other places as well so if they do know like somewhere online where I could order them then please let me know in the comments below I'd be so happy to get some of those inks for my sketches with watercolors and this is also a pity because this one is so cute it's just oh, amazing oh well it's good to practice with uh, just pen sketch as well and for quick sketches on the go let's move to the final package. So as you might have understood, I also ordered some Paul Rubin sketchbooks and I got this absorbent sponge for the paints. Huh. Interesting. Well, that's quite nice. Let me show you something. The thing is that I ordered the sketchbooks before. At first I was a little bit disappointed because that feels odd to me. And I was also wrong with the size, I thought it would be bigger and the pages the, they seemed like so stiff and I also saw that they were perforated and back then I didn't like it so I was a bit disappointed in the beginning but then I realized how amazingly nice this paper is how fantastic it is because first of all it's two-sided i didn't manage to feel any difference between one side of the paper and another one when i was painting in the sketchbook second i don't need to use any clips you know to hold the paper while i'm painting because it doesn't buckle it doesn't move maybe of course because it is of a it is a very small size i don't know but Painting in the sketchbook is a joy. I really like it. I'm actually now getting towards the end of the sketchbook. It's not that many pages left. And it is also one of my sketchbooks of choice that I take with me when I travel. And here are just some experiments. Because it's so small, it's so neat. Then I would take my watercolor palette and then let's say a water brush or this brush and I also have a glass so this is the size of it I, I can hold it in my hand and I've got everything I need and this is 100% cotton paper which means that I can experiment with any techniques that I want and it holds fantastically it's just amazing I really really like this sketchbook so I have decided to order more it's truly beautiful I think in black it looks even nicer than in blue. So let me see if I can just carefully take it off. Yeah, it's very nice. Oh, and I forgot to mention about the perforated pages. Let me see. Yeah, they have them there as well. I came to loving them because then if I have a really nice sketch that I think looks very good, I can just tear it out have it on the wall okay so let me see the first page yeah that looks very nice well you can't use this one for painting but it doesn't matter to me at all very very thick paper like very thick feels and looks exactly the same on both sides I can see a little bit stiff here you see but 
I also have this, I don't know how it's called, this ribbon to mark the pages. Very nice. It feels very, very nice. Oh, and there's also a pocket. I think in the small one I have it as well, but to be honest, I don't use them, so I don't care if there is a pocket or not. For me, it's an unnecessary detail, but if you use them, then they have it. And it's a very nice size. I think it's perfect. And let's now go to this one. And why I ordered this one? It was partly because of the paper. Partly. And another reason was because of the case. Oh, this is beautiful. But so one of the reasons why I ordered it is because, of course, I want to test out the paper in a bigger size. Because I think when you use watercolor paper in the bigger size, you can really feel the difference between different types of paper. Because when it's just a small piece, it's not as noticeable as when it is a big sheet of paper that you're working with. But then another reason is this case. Oh, and I forgot to say that this one's also 100% cotton, 3 GSM, hot pressed, 20 pages. And by the way, if you're ordering them from AliExpress, I just want to let you know that here's the size and it says 8K. And the thing is that the smaller the size is, the bigger the sketchbook or the block is. So if it would be like 64k, it doesn't mean it's bigger, it actually means it's, it's, it is smaller. So my blue one, I think it was 32 or 64 and I thought it would be a big size. But that's the other way around. I do not know why it is that way, but just keep it in mind if you decide to, uh, to order one as well. But anyway, oh this is nice. Can you hear it? <laughs> From the glue and stuff. Yeah, that looks very nice. I definitely know how to make a nice design. But anyway, I still didn't finish that sentence. Another reason why I ordered this one is because of the case. Because to be honest, so far I do not have a nice place to keep my sketches. I was looking at some of those, you know, portfolio folders which have like a good size, but they seem to be so expensive. I really do not understand what is so special about them that they are so expensive. If you do know where I can get some cheap or like cheaper portfolio folders like for good price then let me know because I'd really like to have my best sketches or at least those sketches and paintings that I like the most in a, some kind of neat way I don't know and I thought this could work I thought then I would use up the paper and this would be great because it's a fantastic quality paper or at least it should be and then I will use the case itself to keep my paintings because what I really like about it, there is a ribbon as well as if it is a sketchbook and to be honest, I think that's fantastic that's a great idea and I haven't seen anybody who is making the watercolor blocks coming up with that idea as well because it's a great promotional tool now I know that when I finish the paper sketches that I like they will remain here and most often it is a4 format that I make my paintings on so it will fit inside very neatly or you know smaller or sketches of a smaller size and I thought this would be a great way because sometimes I have guests and then they ask me oh could you show me what you have painted recently and then you know I start pulling out all kinds of stuff from all kinds of places and just some folders where sketches don't fit I mean, it's a mess and I think it ruins the impression a little bit while. If I take this one out and then I open that and start showing the sketches, that will make a very different impression. I'm, I'm very, very happy about it. I'm not going to remove anything yet because I still have some paper to use up that I would like to work with. So this will be somewhere in my next video so subscribe if you want to see me testing this watercolor blog from Paul Rubens and this was it for today guys I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll try to find the links to everything what I've mentioned in this video in the description box so if you have any questions please let me know and 
Thank you so much for joining me today for this uh, AliExpress art supply haul. I really hope you have enjoyed it. And if you did, please remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I will highly appreciate it. And see you in my next video. Bye!